The Nazi Army, Context of the War. The Second World War was a crucial event for the course of history in the half of the 20th century. It was the sequel of the First World War that ended on November 11th of 1918. The Second World War started because of many problems with, between parties, but the two most mentioned ones were the Marco Polo Bridge between Japan and China in July 7th of 1937. The most, second most relevant event for the strat of this war is the German invasion in Warsaw, Poland most remembered as the Siege of Warsaw on November 1st of 1939. Context of the Army the Nazi army started in the First World War, but also fought efficiently in the Second World War until its fall in 1945. From 1935 to 1945, it was most known as the Wehrmacht, but in the First World War, it was called the Deutsches Heer. In the World War II, as a German army that started the war and had very high points during it. Although this, in 1914, it was proclaimed as the most efficient army in the world. The First World War started with about 3.8 million soldiers, but due to health problems and death, the army was left with 100,000 soldiers and the end of the war. In 1939, the first invasion in the war, which was to Poland, was done with 1.5 million men and the army started going from there. The points where the army was most known and important was from 1914 to 1918 and 20 years later in 1939 to 1945 which was in its decadence at the end of the war. In both of the wars, the German army was eventually defeated. In the First World War, the German commander was Helmut von Moltke. In the Second World War, it was Adolf Hitler, which is naturally the most important and famous one, as he created a bigger conflict with the world in general, and with the Jews mostly around Europe. In total, the army had 18.2 million soldiers, with millions of deaths and most not surviving. The army had an air force, a marine force, and an army. The air force was probably the most important as the air force led to the highest point of the army and for the Wehrmacht to have a big advantage over the other armies, although things like the Enigma Code, etc. The Second World War really wasn't supposed to happen as the Treaty of Versailles stated that the army could only have 100,000 soldiers which was clearly opposed to and not followed as they had about 18 million soldiers in total, counting the two wars. Purpose of the army and the money invested to achieve this purpose. The purpose of the army was to regain lost territory in the past and gain new territory in order to dominate the continent and hopefully the world. In order to finally complete the army, there were eight years of investing giant sums for the weapons, 35 billion rake marks were invested, which was about $14 billion of the time, $250 billion of the present time. Invasions by the German army. Norway, Denmark, Belgium, Netherlands, France, Yugoslavia, Greece, and Poland. The invasion to Poland was the most important, and this one started the, the war, without counting the Marco Polo Bridge between Japan and China, which was an important cause of the war. Also, another important invasion was one specifically to London, which was done by the Luftwaffe, which was bombing the city and living in, in pieces, has also generated more conflict with England. The Nazi propaganda. The Nazi propaganda was specifically used for receiving or getting the support of a big part of Germany for democracy to be in favor of the Nazis. Later in the war, they were used to facilitate the genocides, the persecutions, etc. This really worked in favor of the Germans during the war, as the Nazis were really skilled propagandists and used the newest technology of the time, which made people believe it and support it. As, as they used the newest technology, the people didn't see it as a mediocre thing and they saw it as a good thing that they would support. Actually, Hitler took the propaganda part in the war so seriously that he invented a ministry of enlightenment for propaganda also with the purpose of changing the German citizens' public political opinion. The Nazi played an important and essential role in the passive persecution in Europe and most specifically the Jews that were killed in the war as this propaganda were made to people have reasons to hate the Jews even if they were lies showing the Jews as the rich people who don't let the German country progress. The Luftwaffe which was the German air force had an essential part in the German army as this is the part of the army that made the army be at its highest peak at one of the moment and have an advantage from other the other countries in Europe. In total, there were 3.4 million soldiers in this third of the army. 
One of the techniques that were used in the Luftwaffe was dive bombing. In this technique, soldiers jumped out of the plane as a more secure way, as only that soldier would get killed, and that specific soldier would have a lot more accuracy than the plane, and the job would be done fast. This was something while well waiting for the new technology of planes, Junkers Ju-52, but it became a problem for the Germans as it wasn't that effective and it was used a lot. Anyways, these planes weren't only used for fighting purposes, but they were also used for transportation. There was a, a failure in the engine development and the army had a problem to do with the planes as the ideas were great, although powering those ideas was very hard as the engines were limited to 600 HP and these ideas needed about 1000 HP which at the time was only a prototype. Experiments with the Luftwaffe Experiments to test the planes and the plane equipment were done various times, specifically in Auschwitz. Some of the experiments were to test if the planes were good enough temperature wise as some of the soldiers had died to hypothermia in planes. Also, the experiment was to test the medicine to treat hy hypothermia and have the soldiers good to go. Of about 400 to 5 prisoners that had the experiments with cold water, about 90 died. Also, there was an experiment to test ejection sheets where altitudes were about up to 20,000 meters were assuming later, uh, where out of 200 people, 80 died. Some of the ones who survived got vivisections and the others were executed. One of the doctors infected prisoners of the camp with typhus in order to check the efficacy of the medicine. These are some of the planes used in the Luftwaffe. The Arado R-68, which was a trainer and night fight. The Vacuum Bat 349, which was an interceptor plane. The Dornier Do 215, that was a trainer plane. The Junkers Ju-52, which was a plane for transport purposes only then the Messerschmitt Me 410 was a fighter and reconnaissance plane and lastly there was the Heinkel He 77 that was a strategic and heavy bomber plane these were some of the weapons that were used in the German army close cover air support tanks infantry the Astra 300, 400, 600, and 900, that was a pistol. The Gewehr 24, that was a rifle. The Fall Sheer Jagger Gewehr 42, that was a battle rifle. And lastly, the Maschinen Gewehr 08, that was a machine gun and was really effective and used in the war various times. The Marine part of the army was another third of the army and was one of the most important as this part used the revolutionary submarines. The submarines were called U-boats or in German undersea boot. These submarines were underwater boats for military purposes in order so that no one can see them inside the war which really helped Germany in the war and other countries participating in the war as this was really effective way to transport and fight. This had an important impact in the war as for example they destroyed the Brazilian merchant ships and also they were uh, the major component of the Battle of the Atlantic close to England for this specifically it was the most important. End of the war Act. Uh, when the German army was defeated General Alfred signs the unconditional surrender of the German army. This was after millions of deaths in the German army and in the rest of the world. End of World War II. World War II ended in May 1945, and May 8th and May 9th are specifically celebrated as the end of the World War II, called VE Day, or Europe Day. May 9th was for the war to end for Russia, and that is, it took a little longer, specifically in August 1945, when Japan surrendered. This happened when the United States dropped the atomic bombs in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. As the document of surrender was signed on September 2nd, 1945, the war ended completely in that day. The process of the end of the war started with D-Day when the Allies got France back. The end of the war led to Hitler hiding in a bunker. For what happened next, there are two theories. The first one is that Hitler poisoned himself suicide, and the other one is that Hitler escaped to Argentina in a ship and died there years later.